Hello everybody and welcome to World of Horror, a horror survival RPG roguelike that I'm very excited to be checking out again here today. I played this either last year or the year before that for Halloween and guess what? It's out now in 1.0. Seems like the absolute perfect game to play for this season for this channel. So in we're going to go to see what it is all about here again. I'll see what I remember. I'll see what's new. We'll probably dive in fresh for a proper fear. Would you like to customize the next playthrough's look? We can change, like, kind of the color palette. You can cycle between 1-bit and 2-bit. I'm going to go with 2-bit. It gives us, like, a little bit more depth, but it is designed as a 1-bit game. But in we shall go. If it's your first time playing World of Horror, it's recommended you start with the spine-chilling story of School Scissors. I do remember it was, like, kind of a cool extended tutorial, but I also remember it was quite long, and we have done that story already. So I think let's go in and let's just dive in phase first what could possibly go wrong into the unknown because honestly that seems kind of fitting for this type of game anyways so one of the core ideas is modularity allowing you to mix and match various cards and packs from different content so we only have the base content right now anyways this man is creepy one last thing it's tall man left a suitcase for you this morning he said that you know the password what would that could mean I have no idea. I think I'll hit, uh, I think I'll just hit continue for now. Yeah, I think it's just like a seed. Is that the seed of the run, I suppose? Something strange is happening in our town. Robed figures can be seen gathering in the woods at night. People are going missing. Disgusting creatures are terrorizing the seaside. The rapid technological progress of the modern era brings comfort, but also unknown threats. Old gods, malicious, eldritch beings who ruled the earth eons ago are awakening as reality starts to crumble. Armed with clues, spells, and your dwindling sanity, you'll investigate mysteries across the city and in realms beyond. An old train slows down and stops at the last station. The end of the world is at hand and you finally arrived in the doomed town. All right, so now we pick our character. We can pick a different uh, backstory. Random backstory at the beginning of the game. We only got the one right now. It looks like we could unlock more different <laughs> different characters. We can unlock more too. No. Let's see. Haru. We got strength minus knowledge. I mean, let's do it, right? Item statistics randomization. You can have different randomized item stats. You can have like just like a randomizer run. Difficulty... Skeptic, Initiate, Cultist, True Believer. Let's go with, like... Wow. Let's go with Initiate for now, as I don't really know fully what's going to be going on. Classic mode. Old gods are awakening. Your only chance of survival is solving five different mysteries. Additional modes unlocked. So that's the only one we got anyways, but I also think that that's what we want to do. Somewhere, a group of people gathers, trying to awaken their master. Select an old god. Uh... The spider god? The towering eye? The devouring fire? Both your damage and your enemy's damage are increased. Casting spells costs reason, increasing... Wait. Casting spells costing reason, increase doom instead? Resting increases your doom penalty. I don't know, man. You can't run from combat. That feels like that's going to be... Oh, God. Fine, I'll go for the Devouring Fire. My damage and enemy's damage is increased. All right. In we shall go. Welcome to World of Horror. Important messages will appear down here. You found cigarettes. You've gained a new status. Uh, we have Withdrawal. A mental curse. All actions in combat are 1.2 times slower because we have nicotine withdrawal, theoretically. Is that what that is? So what does this do? Plus one reason, but adds a new status. Oh, no. We're going to have to deal with that. First time playing, select this. Welcome and thank you for trying World of Horror. Inspired by adventure games from the 80s, the visual overload may be initially a little disorienting. In this short tutorial, I'll do my best to explain the various elements of prepare you to fight the horrible old gods. Sounds good. This 
is the main game screen, and here you'll interact with your surroundings, solve mysteries, use their interface panel. Here you'll manage your inventory, cast spells, and access the game options. All performed actions will be added to the log down here. That's you on the right. World of Horror has RPG elements, and your six attributes are described here. Hover your cursor over them to learn more. Okay. I think we'll have to learn that over time, but dex, perception, if I know what they are, knowledge... Charisma, and Funds. I think that'll be good enough for now. Uh, we'll hover over later. I'm sure we can do that. That's your inventory. You can keep up to four items in it to inspect, use, or equip anything you pick up. Select the item in question from this area. There's equipment, three equipment slots. Equipped items do not count towards your four items. Good to know. A is a weapon. B and C are trinkets and armor. As you progress with your playthrough, more helpful tips will appear. Would you like to turn on the combat tutorial? It'll start during your first enemy encounter. Sure. All right. Here we go. Your home? I'll check out my home. Your mailbox is empty. Back in your home, you think of your next move. You're not currently investigating any weird mysteries. Recent newspaper clippings and notes collected in the next room should point you in the right direction. Start a new mystery. Change clothes. kind of like that. I kind of like it. Feels right. Take a peek through the peephole. Hello. What was that? Probably just my imagination. Okay. Watch TV. Take a bath. Local police are helpless and more and more victims turn up in downtown area with their throats slight. Oh, this uh, it's a whole thing. I'm not going to worry about that. That's not my problem. New mystery. Inexplicable and morbid events have been plaguing your town for some time now. You mark down five of them, hoping that there's something connecting them all. You can tackle these five mysteries in any order you want, but beware your decisions will haunt you and influence yet unsolved mysteries. All right. So in we're going to go here. I don't know whether or not we're going to be doing like a mini series or what on this, but it's entirely up to you guys. Like if over the course of watching this, you are interested, let me know in the form of a comment down below. Maybe we'll do more. Maybe we won't. We'll see. The ra Rotten Report of the Rancid Ramen, The Bloody Brief of the Beckoning Bulletin, The Horrible History of Household Hell, Eerie Episode of Evolving Eels, <laughs> The Sorrowful Saga of the Moonlit Sailors. There's only two ending options for this one. Let's go for the, ra the Rotten... Ra oh, sorry, The Rancid Ramen. Out of thin air, a brand new ramen restaurant opens in town, and it's adored by everyone. Once people take a bite, they can't stop. Day and night, the queues stretch out the door. The shambling customers stuff themselves with dish after dish, while the blind owner sits silently behind the counter, grinning and polishing his gleaming knives. You're determined to discover what makes this ramen so enticing. What is its true power? Dog meat? Human meat? The flesh of the gods themselves? Yeah, probably. To advance this mystery, investigate the circled location. As you progress, the location and the rules may change. Okay, travel to the apartments. To progress, we have to travel to the apartments. So we have home, school, seaside, mansion, village, forest, hospital, downtown. Watching the local news, you spot a familiar street. It's a feature about the newest ramen shop. The food critic has a manic look as he describes the ramen. His description makes your stomach churn. Dumpster dive. Discard two. Wait, we have a mission to discard two item. Oh, no. All right, let's investigate. Wandering through an empty corridor, you find an old vending machine. You don't recognize the brands of sodas inside, but you could really use a drink. I mean, can I back out of it? You buy a can of off-brand soda and take a sip. It tastes a little odd, but you enjoyed the drink anyways. Dexterity check. That was a dexterity check. It also didn't... I didn't lose any funds because of it, though. You can see the restaurant through the staircase's window. You watch the door for hours, but never see any of the cooks ever enter nor leave. Uh, so I think we'll just continue to investigate the apartments. Excuse me, do you have a moment to talk about our real lord and savior? The day of reckoning is coming, says the voice on the other side of the line. You definitely don't like the way the man on the other side of the line puts an accent on real... Oh, are you still there? I, it feels like a lot of the situations leaving is going to 
be the right answer? <laughs> what do you have to say? Yeah, I kind of figured. You learned some useful bits of information about your nemesis. However, if everything this man said was the truth, humanity is doomed. Minus 5% doom. Minus 3 reason. So reason is this stat up here. I think it's kind of like... So we have stamina, which is our health, and reason, which is like our mental health. Doom, I believe, is something that modifies kind of like almost difficulty, if I remember correctly. So that going down does help us a little bit. Oh man, we we ain't finding what we need to find here, though, that's for sure. The telephone sounds and multiple voices are too loud for you to ignore. When you enter the apartment, everything turns silent. Oh, hello. It's combat tutorial. I've heard about you on the telly. During each turn, you're going to build a sequence of attacks and moves from the action ring. Over here. Oh, no. This is not an action ring, but I'll take it. Once you fill the sequence bar C up here, uh, press launch sequence. Kick, kick, kick. With time, you'll discover new combat moves that'll be available through the action filter. First, you need to find a weapon. Find and choose an action called look for an improvised weapon. Pick up a random improvised weapon. We still have... Hold on, we still have time to... Oh, no, because... Shoot. All right. I'm going to look for an improvised weapon. Look, a new item has appeared in your inventory in the upper right corner. Select the item with your cursor, open their sub-menu, and press equip. A branch. 3 damage, 90 speed, 70% chance to equip... Oh, to hit. Fast to equip. Okay, so we've equipped the stick... So we have kick, attack with your weapon. So it's 84. Strong attack, 130. Does five damage. I think we just try for two hits, right? Gossip junkie. I missed. Did I miss both? No, I hit once. Where's my health? The gossip junkie stares at you. The oh, my reason! My reason, it's re been reduced. We have a defensive actions, run away, meditate, regain a reason. Costs two stamina to gain a reason, though. Lowers incoming damage by half and ignore any special attacks. Lower the hit chance for the enemy. These take up so much time, though. Spiritual actions. Clap. Wait. Part of a ritual or a combination of five bows and claps. What the heck? Part of a ritual. Regain his stamina for the cost of two reason. We're not going to be doing that. I think we do just go for a couple smacks. I just want to know what kind of options we had here. Did I get another miss? No. One miss, one hit. Ay ay ay. Can I tell how much health you have? This feels like I should be able to get rid of this. If I hit clear, that does not get rid of that. Right click to delete your last combat move. Nah, I think that's just there. Okay. Oh, you have one HP. Great. Then we should probably just go for three chances to hit here. I did not do very well, though, as far as my uh, my reason. It seems you were not the only one wanting to try for yourself. You stay in line for hours. Your questions fall on deaf ears, and you're shunned. Oh, no. I feel like I kind of want to try this out. This also gives us a reason. We have Nicotine Rush. Minus one cigarette each investigation. Combat actions are slightly faster. Gotcha. Well, we're also... That was... We only have one, so... Yikes. So now we're supposed to head down to downtown. I don't think I want to discard my items. I think I want to keep my branch for now. I don't think we need to worry too much. We could check our neighbor. You knock on your friend's door and wait. Kana's not home. Should check later. 
making sure there's nothing that got creepily added. Cost Doom to enter. Turn your funds into items. Turn experience into funds. I have five funds. I don't know. We probably should investigate. Cost Doom to enter funds into... You know what? Screw it. Let's do it. Uh, is dog deal eight damage to ghost type enemies? One knowledge, flash combat actions adds a chance to dodge the incoming attacks. Oh, cigarettes! We probably have to. Bonus perception, steak knife, three damage, seventy-two speed, chance at seventy. I'll definitely buy this. Oh! Costs doom every time, huh? I think we'll probably leave it at that then. So we have this already. We'll investigate. I'll wait until my uh, my mental state changes. When you walk through a crowded space, someone bumps into you and quickly apologizes. Real <laughs> Press this button to realize what's happening. Perception check success. They stole your wallet. You quickly grab their arm and they drop it before disappearing into the crowd. Thank God our perception is seven. So we just keep exploring here. The smell around the restaurant is overpowering. Grease, rotten. Is that blood? I think probably, yeah. You're pleasantly surprised to meet your old friend while waiting for a train. She's undoubtedly changed a lot since you've last seen her. These days, she's moderating a web forum dedicated to the paranormal. Maybe she knows something useful. Chat or invite for coffee. She looks the least scary of anyone so far, except for the dog. Chat or invite for coffee. I feel like this is, you know, in a safe public place. In between conspiracy theories and Bigfoot sightings, you hear a worrying rumor about an old god slowly awakening to rule the earth once again. Could this be the reason for the recent horrific events? Minus one funds. I figured as much for the coffee. Plus seven experience. Where's my XP bar? You don't have enough experience. Oh, so I don't know how much we need. It's finally your turn to order. One ramen, please. The owner's grin widens. Something is wrong. You don't see anyone on the streets, and you could have sworn it was crowded just a minute ago. You better hurry out of here. Okay, do we just lose a reason? The red bowl has been pushed in your face. It's so crowded that you're forced to sit on the floor. I feel like the, the only way to make this, like, logically make sense as far as us exploring... This is safe. No modifiers to skill checks. Yeah, the only way for us to kind of have it make sense is if this is sort of a cut between flashbacks, you know? Like, I'm investigating, and while I'm doing it, you know, we're cutting the flashbacks of me investigating the restaurant. When you enter a metro car, you notice an oddly shaped package on the seat opposite to you. It's marked with your name. You reach for the package, but hesitate. An icy feeling settling into the pit of your stomach. I gotta be honest. It seems like something that would impact my reason. It's also... I don't know. It's a, Of all of the events that I've seen so far, this has the highest chance to just be like, someone sent me something that I can utilize. The fact that it's on the metro for me seems so bad, but like... I don't know, it's a human head? It's got blood. As soon as you pick up the package, you realize what you're holding and drop it in horror. Okay, eight experience up. Yeah, it's it. the package has got some blood. So since we had enough dex, we had high enough dexterity to drop the package? I guess to see what it is and, and leave quick enough. Investigate, ooh. With a slick hand, you fill a vial with the soup and walk out, all without tasting the weird dish. Status. I still have the rush, so we don't have to worry about that. We have... What's this? Plus one damage when you're under the effect of nicotine rush. We need to find you soon. Oh, demon man. With the pulling of some delicate strings, you get the ramen into the lab. Well, handing over the gathered material, you hesitate. What should you send to the laboratory? Oh, there's something I didn't gather I could have gathered. Just the ramen. A mere day later, your friend rings your door. 
Her face is pale and in a shaky hand. She holds an analysis sheet. You usher her in and bolt the door. You feel ill looking at the charts. While they couldn't identify some of the particles, they did discover a highly addictive drug in the broth. The ramen restaurant must be closed immediately. A week later, the... Wait, the police and government officials are looking over where the ramen restaurant used to be. Nothing remains but a gap in the street and aimless, confused customers. You'd like to believe that that was the end of it, but snippets in newspapers from other cities unsettle you. Brief articles about an exciting new ramen restaurant opening and its mysterious owner keeps showing up. You can no longer eat noodles without feeling ill. Rewards for solving the mystery plus third experience. We lose some doom. Tireless plus one reason stamina. Time passes a day. So it sounds like there was possibly a better way to have done it. Maybe we should have explored somewhere else. Or maybe we needed... We failed some kind of a check of some sort. I'm assuming we need 100 experience to level up. The old god stirs. Click here to reveal its effect. The whole town stopped receiving any outside signal. Must be the radio mast failure. Cut off from the outside world. We got a, yeah, a randomized status effect here. The whole town will not receive any outside... Oh, God, that's spooky. The ominous lighthouse has been closed down for longer than you can remember. Multiple padlocks preventing you from entering the building. You need five keys. I feel like maybe I could have gotten a key from that mission then. Five is a very suspicious number. Inside your mailbox, you find a small key. Oh, well, there you go. Never mind. Change clothes. It is a different day. No. Signature suit. Take a bath. The shower will help you calm down and do wonders for your sore muscles. What temperature should you set it to? Oh, we should have done this. Empty bottle items, stamina. I feel like I need... I need reason. You've already taken a bath. We should have done that before. Take a peep through the peep bowl. Seems fine. Alright. We'll check that TV again. Can't get any signal from the outside world. What's happening? Oh, shoot, man. Custom mysteries. So I guess we're going to be moving... I mean, oh, that sucks, because the TV, getting that early, seems like it could be a problem. We have a nicotine rush still that might change when we start a new mystery. Bloody brief of a beckoning bulletin. Horrible history of household hell. The eerie episode of evolving eels. I can't deny I'm very curious about what the hell that means. While returning to your home, someone suddenly bumps into you. Did you know? You turn around. It's your friend living in the same apartment complex, Kana. That weird dude's back. You know, the one who studies fish? You shrug, opening the door, and Kana follows and immediately enters the kitchen. A while later, she returns with two cans of soda. Aren't you curious? What weird fish did he bring this time? She grins. I shall investigate. Oh, hello. I saw the creepy neighbor carrying some jars inside his apartment. I wonder, what weird fish could he find this time? Will you check it out? He'll surely recognize me if I try and do it myself. Please? Okay, so we obviously have to travel to the apartments here. Hey, dork, I'm with you. Why are you going back to my place? I was just kind of... Shut up. <laughs> oh, we have Kana with us. Receive minus one damage from attacks during combat encounters. We still have a nicotine rush. That lasts for quite a while. Alright, good. As you prepare a bath, you think about all the possible leads so far. You're very tired. So maybe ice cold water is a good idea. I mean, I'm afraid, but we do know that cold should give us reason. Strength failure! Your body was not ready for the cold bath, and you can feel cold coming on. Okay. Alright. Alright. He was working at school, right? We could break into his office. What do you mean we shouldn't? It must be empty because he just came back and his class begins next week. Investigate the seaside location twice to complete this quest. All right, let's let's investigate somewhere else. After a long night without much sleep, 
you decide to go for a ride alongside the coast to clear your head, but it's hard not to think about that night that everything started. Behind the same wheel, driving like hell after watching your brothers in arms get slaughtered and not doing the damn thing to save them. You have five experience at the very least. But not anymore! I'll investigate the seaside one more to get that mission. You smoke a cigarette on your way. Walking on the beach, you discover a giant charred pit as you wonder what burned here and why. You hear a crackling sound getting louder as everything around you becomes scorching hot. Oh, hello! After each sequence, enemies perform attack, draining your stamina. It determines your chance to attack the enemy successfully. The higher the power, the harder they'll be. Currently, your chance to hit is lowered by 10%. Why will you not let me attack? This attack can't hurt a ghost? Ask your ally to distract. Assess the situation. Oh, shoot. I don't have anything that can kill a ghost. I would probably have to do something like this. I can look for a weapon and assess the situation. Is there anything else I can do? Combat skill, reduce your experience by 5, raise your chance to hit by 10%. Not right now. Pray. Probably not at the moment either. So we lose a stamina per. I don't have enough space to do any of these. Meditate, regain a reason for 2 stamina. You're going to be attacking my stamina, so I don't think I want to do that. All right. Maybe if I learn three times, just in case there's something. Will not attack unless provoked. The memory of a man burned alive during an immortality ritual gone wrong. Now a burning horror contend to eternal, eternal pain. Weak against blunt damage. But I can't hit him with blunt damage. I think we probably run then, right? Ends the encounter for a doom penalty? Well, I don't know what I would do otherwise. Doesn't attack unless provoked, though. I guess I can look for an improvised weapon. Wait, if successful faster combat action for the duration of this encounter failed, lose a random ally. 70%? I don't know about that. I don't know about that, indeed. Combination of five bows and claps. Sever ties to our world? Deals three damage? Wait, what? Oh, so that's, that's a thing that we can do. But then the second we do that, we... Uh, I don't know. I think we run. If we provoke them, we have a problem. This was not even... Okay, good. This was not something we even needed to do. Minus one reason. You may be go going crazy. You swear something's watching from the Cree. It's great. Scree? Scree! We've done it. Don't know what that does for us, though. So we should probably go back. Let's check my mental health. Nicotine rush still on. Good. Investigate that school. You enter the school bathroom to wash your face with cold water. We don't have a holy candle. Sudden noise behind you stops in your tracks. Stops you in your tracks. One of the stall doors is opened on its own. This is going to be a dex check. Which is not my strong suit. I do want to get into a fight. In a way. You walk to the door and try and close it, but something is blocking it. When you look up, you see a ghostly pale hand holding the door. You back off from the toilet and the door slowly opens. A girl in a tattered uniform is standing there. Her head twists unnaturally. She makes a roaring, rattling noise and the door behind, behind you slams shut. Well, hello. Minus one reason damage. Is another freaking incorporeal enemy? Sever ties from this world. I'm needed 90. 
Toilet ghost. I think that's fine, though. Leave an offering. Trade one fund to do six damage to the ghost. Yeah, I don't know the ritual right now, so I think I'm going to go ahead and just... We'll do this, and if it gets too tight, then we'll start trading some money instead. So how much is it? It's six... Nine to be... There's no point to do anything other than... Than this. We do lose one more reason, which is not great. But the good news is this should finish it off. We sever your ties from this world. To gain a new level, press the flashing button. You've advanced to the next experience level, so choose one perk and one stat upgrade. Definitely want reason. I feel like a lot of luck, or a lot of uh, decks has been showing up. That doesn't necessarily mean... Or I could get the five reason, because that's going to be a problem. I can't choose the stat right now. Oh, the perks are over here. What the heck? Art knowledge. Outdoorsman. Close quarters combat training. Using firearms as melee weapons does more damage. I don't have a firearm right now. Plus one luck, and you're attuned with natural rhythm of light. You've got an eye for art and details. So these will clearly have some random event situations. I'll go for outdoorsmen, I guess, since we're kind of on a nature one. What's that? Pick it up. Corpse dust. Use, gain 20 experience, but lose 2 luck. So luck is not on here. It seems to be a separate thing. Discard. I don't know where luck is. Resolve the combat. The neighbor's office at school is empty. You do find a few jars all filled with weird eel-like fish. Despite your protest, Kana decides to take one jar home. Have you ever seen an eel like this? So freaky. Don't you just have a feeling it's watching us? How can she sip her soda so calmly, staring at this creepy creature? Back to the apartments we go. Mr. Ooh, your neighbor, is a horror manga artist. He's struggling to come up with a satisfying ending for his newest story. What's that picture? Let him come up with his own stuff, share your experience. Honestly? Not enough experience. Sally, you don't have any recent stories. Oh, that would help him. At least the public won't experience the same horror as you did. Minus one reason. Oh, my lord. Do I need to go for another Sigaroon? Add a new status? I'm worried. I'm worried taking another one causes a problem. Like, it might be a physical stamina trade. I'm going to try it for science. You fear that you can get used to it. So nothing happened right now, but... Oh, wait. Did my reason not even go up? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's a fast turnaround on that impact, if so. A woman jumps out of the apartment covered in gore between sobs. She tries to explain what happened. She was taking a shower, and suddenly the shower had started spraying blood. A trail of blood leads into the dark apartment. Calm her down, or check the bathroom. I gotta be honest. My reason is so bad right now. Charisma success! The woman sniffs and smiles weakly. You feel like you prevented something awful, plus four reason. Yeah, don't worry about it. Just don't just don't go look at it again. If you don't go look at the blood shower, nothing, it just, it's not real. Kana was right. Someone tried to burn some papers. They must have been in a hurry, because some of the papers look salvageable. You both return to your apartment and try and decipher the notes. That's so weird. Your neighbor really was into eels, it seems. You begin to wonder if spying on your neighbor was a good idea to begin with. Burnt notes? Legend from the prefecture eels tell of a small village of robbers who would kill all visitors and dump their corpses into a lake full of eels. Eels of the... 
perfect who could lay their eggs inside human yeah okay that seems gotcha seems like probably not great fire escape loud knocking wakes you up in the middle of the night open up shouts the deep voice from beyond the door I know you're there Keep closer and ask the door what's the matter ask what's the matter or call the police alright fine Dexterity failure. Before you can answer, the door's letterbox suddenly opens and an unknown invader tries to look inside. You lurch back in shock. The man sees you, tries to get in, screaming curses the whole time. A neighbor calls the police and the attacker escapes from your apartment building. Minus two reason. Not great. This must be something more we can learn. I'll try and break into his apartment tomorrow morning. I wonder what he's hiding in there. You shrug noncommittally. You just wish you could throw this damn jar into the trash. Why are we investigating? We're supposed to investigate the seaside. Huh? The town's docks are a mix of modern warehouses, small shops, and bars where the alternative crowd gathers. An ancient wooden temple occupies the small hill at the town centered. Uh, I'm gonna... I want reason. Doesn't matter if you believe it or not, the smell of burning incense in the old wood calms you down, plus two reason. Think about how stupid it is of Kana to try and break into your neighbor's apartment you go to sleep. You spent an entire day waiting for Kana. Where the hell is she? Costume to enter. Trade funds for items. I don't have very much funds. Library. Doom for spells. Recruit allies. Learn gossip. Costume to enter. No modifiers to check. I mean, I guess I'll keep investigating this school. Hearing near sound coming from behind the door, you decide to check it out. First glance, the abandoned classroom seems empty. Once your eyes get used to the darkness, you discover an unusual sigil drawn on the floor. Judging by the smoke, someone put out the candles the moment you entered. Mm, let's study the writing. You decipher the occult instructions and let the forbidden knowledge fill your brain. Minus two reason and stamina, but you've gained a spell. Absorb. Deal three damage and gain two stamina, but it costs four reason to use. I can't imagine a world where I'm using that for a while. Forget the spell to gain a reason. It's good to know. Kana's been missing since yesterday. You decide to check out the neighbor's apartment yourself. Jay Wonder. You cautiously enter your neighbor's kitchen. You're shocked to see countless jars filled with eels flailing around restlessly. Where the hell is Kana? Bathroom, bedroom. I found the neighbor, but when his eye burst, I slipped out on the blood and lost consciousness. I'm afraid there's something in my own eye now, too. Uh, don't like the sound of that. Swollen body of your neighbor's rotting away inside the putrid murky water. Both his eyes are missing, with countless tiny blood trails leading from him in all directions. Uh. Escape? Wait, it just worked? We just did it. Ear. I mean. We did. We were successful? Wait. You run like a coward from your neighbor's place. The next morning, police officers are, are emptying out your neighbor's place. They didn't find Kana. I found Kana. Will you ever hear from your friend again? Yes, I just did. Eerie episode of the Evolving Eels ending C. So that was not a, not the best ending, but we like we solved the mystery, I guess. In the same way that like getting hit in the head with a baseball bat finds a baseball bat. I don't know. Knowledge is key. 30% experience or uh, thorough investigation, 15 experience. There's still hope. Minus four doom. Okay. Tireless bonus reason and stamina. What does the old god thing do? The imposing shadow cast by the old lighthouse is getting longer each day. The lighthouse gets an additional floor. I don't know what that means. Huh. Did I get the... You find a small key, take the key. You're currently not investigating any weird mysteries. Interesting. 
Well, anyways, I think that is that. That's going to do it here for today for World of Horror. It is a completely wild experience. I have no idea if you guys are going to even be interested, but for Halloween, it feels like it's so appropriate with the 1.0 release being out now as well. It is a very one-of-a-kind style experience here, kind of like creating randomization and replayability in this sort of old-school point-and-click choose-your-own-adventure style game with like a little bit of strategy elements and the combat being a little bit more involved a little bit more interesting kind of like risk reward management in the combat systems and the fact you have these kind of like permanent things that you'll have to manage i know you can get all kinds of different perks there's a lot more curses than normal it seems like there's oodles of secrets to explore i mean apparently open the drawer we just found something right here gain a random spell lose one to two reason I mean, we'll keep that as an option, but alas, alas, that is that. That's going to do it here for today. Thank you for watching. If you want more of this, let me know in the form of a comment down below. Could be the perfect little mini-series for a Halloween season. Thank you, thank you, and I will see you next time. Bye!